Hello, this is Chris Wall at the Wall Network. Today we're going to go over kind of a, a 101 level trick on how to enable SSH or the ESXi shell for your vSphere host. Specifically we'll be using ESXi version 5.1 and we'll be using the three kind of easy ways to do it. Uh, first in the thick client, then in the web client, and finally using a uh, connection to the DCUI, the direct console user interface. So let's start with the thick client, sometimes called the C-sharp client, the Windows client, uh, or I guess now we're going to start calling it the legacy client. This is uh, right in front of you here, what we're probably all used to for managing uh, vSphere environment using vCenter or directly to the host. So on this ESX2 host, um, all you have to do is launch the thick client, make sure you're in host and clusters mode, it's right here, and then select the host that you want, go to configuration, and if we go down to the security profile, uh, there's these services here at the top. All you have to do is go to the properties for your services and you can enable, I'll start by alphabet here, SSH. You can see I've already got the daemon running. Uh, if it was not running and I wanted to turn SSH on, I could just click options for that and click the start button. Uh, additionally, you can have it start and stop with the host instead of manually so that you don't have to toggle it. Um, I don't advise just having this on all the time. This is a lab, so I just leave it on. Uh, but normally it would be uh, something that you would have turned off unless you needed it. So just as an asterisk there. So that would be it. You hit start and SSH should be on uh, as well as the shell is located here. Uh, so with a thick client that's all you got to do. We'll toggle on over to the web client and just to make showing you how to get there as easy as possible I'm in the very root of logging to the vSphere web client. So this is what it would look like if you were to freshly log into the web client. So we'll want to go to vCenter, uh, hosting clusters, and then choose the host. There's host 2 right here. Now there's probably 17 other ways to get to the host here. This is my preferred path to get to. It's what I'm comfortable with. If you have another method that you want to use to get there, by all means feel free to uh, go ahead and use that path. Uh, but this is definitely the one that works for me. So once you're in your host, you click manage, uh, and see we already got here a security profile. It's going to make this big long list of stuff in here. You're going to scroll down to get to the services, uh, which is located about lower third of the, the, the uh, scroller here, and click edit. Uh, and then you can see same, same kind of layout as the thick client. SSH is right here. You could start it if it was stopped, as well as change it to uh, instead of manual to do start and stop with the host. That just means that it's going to go ahead as soon as the host pops on. If you've got this started, it'll, it'll go ahead and fire it off for you. You don't have to do it manually. Uh, as well as, actually, don't even need to close that. That's the handiness of the thick of the web client. Uh, the shell is right here. So really, any service, but those are the two. If you want to do some troubleshooting, whatever, ESXi shell and SSH are right there. Now, if for some reason all your web uh, connections in the vCenter, or let's say you're doing a standalone host, are down, you're going to want to resort to the DCUI connection, which is pretty much a fancy term for the console connection that's directly to the host. Whether or not this is a crash cart with a KVM connection, uh, Cisco CIMC, Dell's iDRAC, uh, HP's ILO, or some kind of IP KVM, which I'm using in my lab right here with the Supermicro, doesn't matter. Uh, this screen right here that you're probably, you've seen it before and are used to is the DCUI, Direct Console User Interface. Um, and you see at the bottom, I'm going to jack that up just a little bit so you can see it. It says uh, to customize, hit F2. So we'll hit F2. Uh, usually I have to do it twice to wake it up and then uh, once to wake it up and then the other to ex execute the command. Uh, so let me put in, let me see if I can remember my root password here. I think it's that. Alright, apparently I was right. Um, so give it a second, it'll fire up the config area, and I'm going to drop this down just a hair here so you can see the whole screen. Uh, so you would go to, to these troubleshooting options uh, about halfway through, hit enter, and it does kind of trip people up because it's always the command that you see is the opposite of what's happening. So you'll see on the left it says disable ESXi shell, and on the right it says ESXi shell is enabled. So on the left side, that's what you, the action that you would be taking if you pressed enter. And on the right, you see the current state of that particular service. So by seeing disable for both of these, I know they're both enabled. So I'll just do SSH. If I wanted to toggle it, I hit enter on it. And you can see now I've disabled SSH. 
and on the left it says enable SSH. Hit enter again and we've toggled it the other way around. It's that simple. So if you ever need to get into a host uh, for SSH purposes, maybe you're transferring a file, maybe you want to use uh, PuTTY to get in there and uh, run some commands, or you want to use the shell itself, uh, those are the three major ways to get there. Now once you've got ESXi shell turned on, uh, really the only way to take advantage of the shell is uh, through this direct console user interface. You'll actually press Alt F1 and that'll shoot you on over to uh, basically the command line prompt you're going to get as, as a root user uh, just like if you use putty or SSH so you can go in here as root uh, and then your super secret password and do all the commands you normally do like uh, hello with a, a happy face that's not, that's not a real command, don't use that alright, so these are the three easy and, and most popular ways to turn on SSH and the SXI shell using the web client the thick client or windows client and the DCUI. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to click the like button if you found the content informative or enjoyable and the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos on this channel. I also invite you to head on over to wallnetwork.com for more technical content on home labs, certifications, some giveaways, product news, and a whole lot more. Thank you.